stitches. Sorry that you have to wait so long for the next video from me, but I was so busy with studying and working and handing in papers and preparing presentations and stuff for university, so I was a little busy. But this video will not be a whip video. It will be a haul video because, as some of you might know, I went to a um, craft exhibition, craft fair, something in between, I'd say, today, and I spent an awful lot of money. So, um, I will uh, convert the um, prices to dollars um, while editing. So, no, on this side they will probably show up. And yeah, let's go and show you. Um, at first, a few weeks ago, I made an order at a friend of mine who had a store there. And I ordered a few things there. So the first thing I ordered was 15 times the DMC plastic bobbins. So I will probably have more than enough more bobbins until I die, maybe. So 15 times those bobbins. Then I got a bead never because I will probably be, uh, need some beads on a project soon. So here's a bead never. And I ordered some Mill Hill beads. These are glass seed beads. One is 161 and the other one is 479. Two packs, because I don't know which one I will use for my project. Then I got another Mill Hill product. It's the needle threader. Some of, someone of you um, suggested it to me. I can't remember who it was, but it's the needle threader with the kind of rectangle threader part. I have not tried that one, but I will try it soon. Then I got the DMC needle threader three in one. Not tried that either, but I know all different things here. I just wanted to try it to see how it works. Then I got some Pity Treasure Braid. The first one is PB07. It's very, very nice red. It's a little lighter than what you can see on the video. Then I got PB19. It's a nice red with a black in it and also PB05 that's a very nice black yet I don't know on which project I will use them but I will use them someday then I got a scissor sharpener just interested in how it works to maybe be able to sharp my scissors myself Yet I don't need to, but I thought it's not bad to have one. Then I got another 6x6 Q-snap. Because I have one, but it's not enough because I combine them in all sorts of ways. And I feel like um, I needed another one. And then I got two hand creams. This one is called the Stitches Lotion. It is scentless and with aloe vera and it says non-greasy hydrating cream and 59 milliliters so I really hope that that will work but it advertises with aloe vera is a non-greasy moisturizing cream especially formulated to be safe for all types of needlework will not stain so I really hope that works because I'm sick of having to wait for ages after having put some moisturizer on my hands before I can stitch again. 
And the other one is also with aloe vera, but also with green clover. And it's a lotion bar. So that's kind of interesting for me. That's how it looks. And then I got two patterns. One of her, them is by herself. So this one, it's called Test Picture. It's the picture that was shown earlier um, in the beginnings of the TV when there was a new TV show. So that one's pretty cool. I want to stitch it. And the next one I have probably shown to a few of you because it's Witch's Night Out. This one. Ooh. Glare, glare, glare. Yeah, that works. I will stitch the long version on a green fabric. And she actually dyed fabric just for me. Because in that color, she usually just dyes either 18 count Ada or 28 count even weave slash linen. But I wanted to stitch on linen, but not on 28 count. So she was so nice. She actually cut a piece of fabric just for me and dyed just for me. So that was really, really awesome. So she cut a piece of fabric with 20 centimeters border on each side. That's how it looks. It's, you can't really see it. It looks lighter, but it's a really um, strong grain. It's folded, maybe you can see it a little better then. Yeah. That's pretty much how it looks, a little stronger. So that one is 20 count in that green just for me. So that was really, really awesome for uh, from her. And all that together. So bobbins, beads, lotions, threads, Q-snap, needle threaders, scissor sharpener, those two patterns and the fabric were 110 euros. And that's a pretty good price, I think, especially considering she gifted that one to me and the QSnet was four euros cheaper. So that was pretty awesome. And then I got, whoop, yeah, it's something small. This one. It doesn't really focus, but I think you can see what it is. I will make that one into a tiny little needle miner. Then I got two packs of 28 needles. Then I got some Newcastle 50 by 70 centimeters for 13 euros 25. I think it's 20 count. I will have to count it and I will put the information somewhere here. And I bought that one for a special project. I want to stitch an orchid on it for my grandma. But it's big enough to stitch two of them, so I will see what I do with this. Which other project I will stitch. Then I got some clover products. The first thing I got are those flower head pins fine with a diameter of 0 0.45 millimeters. Here they go. I will try to use them for parking even though I'm scared that because they're sharp that I will bite myself 
So I don't know. I will just try those. Maybe it works. And I got, yep, I finally got the Clover Needle Threadies. It was suggested to me from very, very many of you. So it took me about four hours there to find them. So I bought one, tried it, liked it, and bought another one. So now I have two Clover Needle Threadies or embroidery threadies, how they're called. So one will stay here with my Middle Earth map and one will go with my on the go projects. Then I get some more pro uh, patterns. I can only show you one because the other one will go to a friend of mine who also stitches as a birthday uh, present. So I can't show that one here. But the other one is this one. It's a sewing machine, an antique sewing machine. And I will stitch that one for my mother's birthday this year, which is in about a month. So I really have to hurry up. And I bought a frame that goes with it. So now the problem, the fabric in here, as it is a kit, oh no, in here, um, is not big enough to kind of cover the whole sides. So I was thinking about swapping out the fabric using the same size because I've seen, or like the same count, because I've seen that picture in that frame and it looked awesome. So I kind of want to keep that. So what do you think? Just use that piece of fabric and glue it on because there wouldn't be any other way to do it. Or swap it out and be able to kind of stretch it. But I don't know how to do that on this because that's just ordinary cardboard in the back. And I don't want to pin stretch it to the cardboard. So I would have to find some sort of... Um, thingy like to pin stretch it on in the right size but to be honest I have no clue where to find it here so that'll be interesting and uh, I forgot to tell you the prices so those two packs of 28 needles were 2 euro 60 that tiny little thing to make the needle miner of was 50 cents the pins were 5 euros, each needle thread is were, was 9 euro 50. The price for the um, new cost I told you. And um, each of these projects, no that one was 5 euros and the frame was 20 euros. Including, as you can see, it also in already includes double matting. So I really like that. So maybe if I have a project that I want to frame like that, again, it does include gloss, but you can just get it. I might actually buy uh, just the frames next time and frame it myself. Then for €2.95, I got a crochet needle and it's a 0 0.5 millimeter crochet needle by Knit Pro. And what I want to use it for is to, when I have to secure a thread in the back, I want to try to slide the needle and other stitches, catch the thread and pull it through. I don't know if that'll work, but I want to try it. Then I finally found those water pants. I think somebody of you showed you. It's a water pan by Prim. You fill that pan with water. And when you have used a uh, 
water soluble pen like this, you can remove it with this one. So that's really cool. It costs me about 12 euros, I think. So 12 euros for the pen and 2 euros 50 for an extra set of the front bit. And then I got some flocks. So at first I bought 11 skeins of DMC. So they were each one euro, but as they were two glow in the dark, I still have some, but you can never have enough glow in the dark. And whoop, variegated thread that was a pretty good price. Then at the same store, um, yeah, like store thing there. I got 20 skeins of anchor for 30 cents each. So for um, six euros in total. That was pretty good. It was just in one of those rummaging baskets. So I just picked the colors I liked. And I'm sure I will use quite a lot, except for the blue variegated here. I just got it because it was a variegated and they're really expensive normally and that the same one. No, it's another blue variegated. So I got those one. That is really, really cheap. If it would have been earlier today, I would have probably got more because it was so cheap, but I was almost out of money. And then my last, no, yeah, that was my last purchase, but I still have something to show you. I found DMC for 50 cents a skein. So I think I got two, four, six, eight skeins here. Some of them, I think two, three, four of them are for the test picture. The other ones are just variegated threads to have them. Hey! <laughs> and then that was probably the like in comparison to usual price, the cheapest. I still have to recount it because at the exhibition there was some odd number. Because when I counted it at the exhibition, I got to, I think, 46 threads per inch and is there a fabric that fine? I have no clue. I have the feeling that I miscounted. So that's just some white fabric. It's, if I remember correctly, it's 1 meter 10 by 1 meter 80 and I got that piece of fabric for 30 euros. I think I've never ever gotten fabric that cheap. And as it was a pre-cut piece, it was that cheap. And the uh, store owner told me that usually one meter costs 38 euros. So 1 meter 80 was actually cheaper than the usual price and I even got it probably cheaper than what it would have cost for the price that it was signed with because that was 18 euros per meter. I have to calculate it because I'm horribly bad at maths. Um, but I think I got it even cheaper, so really awesome. I was like, hmm, do I really want to have it? Will I stitch on it? Blah, blah. But um, with that price, sorry. <laughs> I could not resist it. I could really not resist it. So, 
that was my purchase. And yeah, another thing I spent money for was I gift for my sister as it was um, more expensive than I was willing to pay. We kind of swapped and she got herself a pack of those Clover Wonder Clips, I think they're called. She's quilting. So she wants to try those and they were pretty cheap and I hadn't gotten her anything for Easter because I did not get anybody anything for Easter. But she got me something, so I agreed on, I will give you just 10 euros and you pay the rest. And she was happy, so that's okay. And yeah, my budget for the exhibition was a hundred, no, 250 euros. So with what I spend at my friend's store, right at the beginning, 110 were gone. So I just had the rest of the money for the rest. And in the end, I spent 155 euros, whatever. I can't remember how much it was exactly. I wrote it down somewhere a bit. So I really, really, really need to um, be careful what I buy during the next maybe four months because I saved some money during the last month I think during the last three months or two months I can't remember so every uh, time I got paid I had an envelope and took 50 euros straight into the envelope and put it aside for the exhibition so I think the next at least two maybe three months, I still have to save and not spend money on stitchy stuff to have a good feeling <laughs> about uh, what I did in the exhibition. And then I have to start saving money for one to pay an awful lot of um, DMC floss I ordered and I need a bigger stash storage so those will be my next big purchases but not until I don't know a few months are gone from now so here yeah, if you have a question about any of those products I bought just ask me I will try them out, I can show you how they work, I can give you kind of some feedback, whatever. So I will spend the rest of the evening just packing that stuff away, winding some floss because most of the DMC colors I probably don't have yet. So. Yeah, I will put that away and then probably edit the video. I don't know if I want to do it before of that because I'm just excited. <laughs> so, um, I will probably post my next update video, my whip video, hopefully at the end of this month. I really can't promise it because towards the end of that month it will get pretty stressful again as well as the beginning of next month so I really don't know when I will upload the next video but if you want to see one of those tools and things about just text me or if you want to have more information about that for example I don't know just ask me so I will see you next time. Bye.